Northwest. For women who dream of starting a family, being diagnosed with endometriosis or fibroids can at first be devastating news. About one in every 15 women with infertility has fibroids, and if an affected woman does become pregnant, it can certainly add some complications to the pregnancy. As for endometriosis, it is estimated that as many as 40% of women living with the condition are infertile. But today, thanks to cutting edge new procedures and advances in medical care, women with fibroids and with endometriosis are not only recovering from their conditions, but having healthy babies as well. I'm joined today by Dr. Paul Lynn from Seattle Reproductive Medicine and also Michelle Eaton, who is a patient. Welcome to you both. Dr. You. Lynn, tell, tell me a little bit about the symptoms of fibroids and endometriosis and why they cause such problems. Well, the most common symptom is no symptoms, actually, but uh, when you do have some fibroids, you have menstrual irregularities and you can have frequent urination or constipation. Uh, with endometriosis as well, it can also uh, have issues with menstrual irregularities, but mostly painful periods. Uh, the most common, though, is absolutely no symptoms at all. Which is a real problem because obviously then you run into fertility problems and you don't know until you check that out that, that you've correct. got this problem. And as I mentioned with the statistics, these are fairly common things for women. Yes, absolutely. So it can be very, very difficult to distinguish whether someone has endometriosis or fibroids because the symptoms can be interpreted as being absolutely very normal for a woman. Right. Well, now, Michelle, you were diagnosed with fibroids at age 26, yes. right? You chose to have the surgery. Tell me about that time in your life. Well, at that point, um, we had been trying for a while to get pregnant, and um, when I was diagnosed, it was actually a relief to know that there was a reason behind why we were possibly having problems, and so that's the reason I decided to have the surgery. Right. And it was successful because? Because I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful news. November. So I congratulations. Dr. You. Lynn, tell us about the new procedures that are available because this has been around for a long time, these yes. problems. And it used to be, I mean, years ago, this was instant hysterectomy or you're not going to be able to have children and things have changed. Yes, they absolutely have. I think the, the major advent in, advantage is the minimally invasive nature of the surgery nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, you used to have, have big incisions uh, several days in the hospital, but now we can, uh, especially with Michelle, we can remove these fibroids or we can remove the endometriosis with same-day surgery. They come in, have the surgery done in a few hours, and then they're going home. It's what we call belly button surgery, the yes, laparoscopy, laparoscopy, right? And we're absolutely. looking at some video of all of this going on. I have yes. absolutely no idea what we're looking yes. at, but that's, it's... Uh, that's the uterus, and that's <laughs> actually the fibroid coming out right there. Great. Sorry for the grossness of well, it, but... Well, but, you uh, know, that's but what we're dealing with. So what is ablation therapy? Ablation therapy uh, is in reference to endometriosis, is the burning of endometriosis. Um, ablation can often be uh, a remedy to remove endometriosis. Uh, but there are many, many techniques, and ablation isn't necessarily the only technique. The only one. How often are you able to get endometriosis under control sufficiently for a woman to have a successful pregnancy? Nowadays, with the current medications that are available in combination with the surgery, it's actually very, very successful. So hysterectomies are almost, should be almost unheard of at this stage. Boy, uh, you're able to control it with both combination therapy. That's good news. Yes. So what was it like when you discovered you were pregnant? I was thrilled. It was two months after um, my surgery, oh, and so wow. I was very surprised. Um, we have been trying for about four years, and so um, we're just thrilled, and we still are. I, so. Of course you are, <laughs> and you're going to be more thrilled for yes. 18 years yes. <laughs> <laughs> after November, and then they'll go to college. Yes. Uh, so Don't do call me. <laughs> Do you have any advice for women who might be struggling with this? I would just say seek help. Get help because um, we were at a point where we were wondering what was going on. Um, and so having some answers for us was very helpful. Sure. So I would just encourage women or couples to um, seek out help. Well, I've been in your shoes. I know what that struggle is like. And when it's successful, it's the best thing in the world. It truly is a miracle. So congratulations. Thank you very Dr. Much. Lynn, thank you. Thank you for I, having us. You have a great profession. It must be very nice to help people create families. Oh, it's the, the most favorite thing that I, I do. I, I would just do think that would be day. magnificent. So thank cool. you so much. If you'd like to speak with a physician from Seattle Reproductive Medicine about fibroid surgery or endometriosis or to have a fertility assessment, we have all of their contact information on our website. So we'll be right back. Thank you. Mm -hmm.